Cheney from Mini Gold Design, and it's an overcast, rainy, cold Wednesday. Uh, we'll get past this weather, and eventually we'll have a long, long, many months of sunny, hot days, but right now we've just got to push through this. So, uh, I haven't been able to ride the bike, it's really starting to wear on me, but like I said, I'll, I'll get my chance. My idea is, this year, is to ride uh, as much as possible, more than last year. And by doing that, I can control my weight very well. By uh, midsummer, I will be actually be slim, hopefully, uh, down into one ground, 170 in there somewhere. And then uh, I'm going to try to find another form of exercise for the winter, because every winter I gain 10 pounds. It's, I think most people do, but I take it off in the summer. If you don't, it, it piles up month after year after year, and you, you get in big trouble. So you have to take it off in the summer, and I do it with the bikes. Uh, I want to talk about two things uh, for a moment, bikes and cats. Uh, now, why are those that significant? Well, when I was a kid, we were never really had uh, that many pets. We had a couple of dogs. I'm not a dog person. I like dogs. A good, clean, healthy, well-bred dog is they're nice, but I just I, I'm just not a dog person. Nothing wrong with dogs. I just, but I really do like cats. And the neighbors that we had around us had big dairy farms, and they had all kinds of really nice cats, and I always enjoyed uh, going up there and, and petting and, and holding and playing with the cats, and it was nice. So when I got older uh, and got out on my own, I always, I've always had a cat around, a uh, big old tomcat. Uh, the two tomcats we have now, uh, Charlie and Zeke, are a really big part of our lives. They sleep with us at night, they eat dinner with us during the day, uh, during the day we let them in and out of the house and they probably get picked up and get a cat massage four or five times a day from each one of us. Uh, they spend a lot of time in our laps or laying in front of us and scratching their neck and all. If you're a cat person you don't understand what I'm talking about. And they come in the house like every couple hours and have a snack and go back out. And they both, although are not really overweight, they're at their full potential, I'd say, <clears throat> at between 15 and 16 pounds each really nice cats. Uh, so that that's my affinity for cats. Uh, now for the bicycles, which you always see, I'm always surrounded by bicycles. Uh, when I was a kid, I had access, uh, my father did a job where they moved a rock wall out of a guy's backyard, and it was a bicycle shop, and I, I assume it had been a bicycle shop for probably 50 years. And all the old bikes that, you know, were out of date, there was something wrong with them, he took them all back and threw them on top of that rock pile. And when they, my father was working for another contractor, driving a bulldozer and excavator, uh, when they came to that job and my father was going to use the excavator to move the rock wall, uh, he asked the guy if he could have the bikes, and I said, yeah, we're just going to haul them off the dump. So he had a, a he borrowed the uh, contractor's big, a wheeler gravel truck, 18 wheeler, not 18 B, 10 wheeler, dual rear axle, and like a 12 yard body on it. And they picked all those bicycles up one by one and threw them in that body, hundreds of them, <laughs> and brought them home and backed way down back in the corner of our property and dumped them underneath a maple tree, right in the corner. And that's where I got. Uh, anytime I wanted to do anything with a bicycle, you just go down there and paw through the pile and find what you needed. I don't think I ever did get to the bottom of the pile. And I built all kinds of bicycles from those parts. It was a very learning experience. Uh, fenders and frames and wheels and rear ends and chains and handlebars and seats. And I built a lot of bicycles all by myself. My brother wasn't into bicycles. Uh, and I built hundreds of bicycles. I sold some, uh, I gave some away, I rode a lot of them, and that was my main source of fun as a kid, uh, up until I got up into my uh, late teens. So I have a really uh, 
soft spot for bicycles, especially used bicycles and bicycle parts. So building these recumbent bikes for me is like having everything I need to build them now uh, and having the money to buy anything that I don't have and having all the welders and the skills to do it is, is really a, a big joy. I can just go out on my bicycle pile and just climb up onto the pile and sit there and feel completely at home. Uh, bicycles are very friendly things. They, they bring a lot of joy. They never give you a bad time. They don't argue with you. They don't throw rocks at you. They don't accuse you of anything. They're very, very kind. A lot like cats. Uh, and, and it's been a really big part of my life. The rest of my life is Sue, Beth, and the house and the videos. The videos are a big part of my life. And we live a very kickback, easygoing lifestyle. Very low stress, as you'll see in this end of the video. I've got just some clips I shot of different things in the afternoon over the last couple days. Just give you some insight into uh, my lifestyle. We spent a good party yesterday uh, just out on the porch, uh, getting some fresh air and goofing around. He's already getting nervous, and I haven't even, he hasn't even seen the camera yet. He's already She's pretty really chill, Charlie. Oh, now, Charlie, not now. He's not impressed. He knows. Just not, not a camera cat, are you, Charlie? He's just like his mistress. Good boy, Zeke. Good boy. Good kitty. No, oh, you good key cat. Oh. Hi, Z. Is there a reflection there? The ultimate use for an iPad. <laughs> Solitaire. Keen shoes. Keen shoes. Keen sandals. <laughs> Just relax a minute. Don't lose your cookies on me or anything. <clears throat> One of my great loves in life is cats. I'm very attached to cats. We have two tomcats. Uh, they both weigh over 15 pounds. They're very well taken care of. Get their regular vet visits, all the shots, flea and tick treatment. So, yeah. Do I like cats? Oh, yeah. Big time. And after a brisk hot shower, we're making macaroni and cheese with leeks, onions, and peppers. And of course, the secret ingredient spam. Spam! <laughs> so I'm Kenny from Mini Bull Design, and I think I've been to here long enough. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have a really great day, try to have some fun today. Bye-bye.